the Velocity Invitational here in uh, Sonoma, California. And it's cool to be uh, part of a rally contingent here. It's not the typical invite, but it seems to draw a lot of attention nonetheless. This year we've managed to partner in a way bigger way with Velocity. We've got not only four beautiful cars out on track, we've also got two of our school BRZs out here to play on a full-blown rally course designed just for us. Max McRae uh, had the opportunity today to drive our current generation WRX rally car on the dirt. Yeah, Max is the first one other than Brandon to drive this car and special exceptions were made because of his, uh, his namesake and obviously he's a very talented driver so we didn't feel we were taking a huge risk or anything like that. Yeah, it was actually very nice. Uh, Max came and drove the car very unexpectedly for me. They just flew in from Phoenix and I was looking around at who's driving the car. I was like, oh boy. Howdy. Before he hopped in uh, the 23R, we took a ride in the BRZ, he took me out, you know, it's, it's in the bloodline, but he's got, he's got the skills, uh, he's wringing the neck out of the BRZ, so it was time to have him step up into the 23R, and it's only a, a two mile track, but I could see that the driving was there, and I'm sure if you gave him a few more passes, he'd be up to speed, yeah, it looked, it looked proper. Not bad, eh? Yeah, just, yeah. As soon as you get in the throttle, the dips just go, and uh, pull it around. Yeah. It's crazy. You know, Colin drove our cars back in 2006 and 2007, and he was extremely supportive of our, of our effort. Here's a world champion coming to a small town in Vermont, and I, I guess I didn't grasp the, the seriousness of it at the time, but to get that current feedback from a world-level driver was huge for us, and inspiration he gave us to keep going. You know, that's that's what we wanted. You know, that's I, I came I still hold on to it today. So, you know, it's Max's uncle, right? And now Max has to turn in the car and he gets to see our latest version of a car and the engineering development all the time there. So really nice, yeah. I know that was pretty surreal. I've always seen all the launch control videos and these Subarus in the in the States going flat out. So uh, the car does everything you want it to. Of course, very, very strong engine. But yeah, it was very special. Of course, having me as McRae in a, in a factory Subaru with the blue and yellow again is very cool. It's, it's one of one at the moment. We're still building a second one for, for Travis Pastrana, so uh, happy to have it back in one piece. So, so. I think all parties are relieved. It ditto the Mackinac cars. It's good to make the tie to that history, too. I think Brandon's a big Mackinac fan, too, and obviously a, a Subaru fan. I think it was a special thing for him to be able to get in that car and drive it around the track. Yeah, that was the very first world car I've ever been in. Uh, and obviously, Tommy Mackin car, which is pretty special, iconic blue and yellow, and fan of, of, of Tommy's driving, obviously, in the early WRC days, and kind of grew up watching that era of, of rally, so that was a pretty special moment. rally car I, I pictured a much fancier car like you know high tech and this and that but it, it is quite a simple car I put this car on a pedal stool because I've been watching it as a, as a kid and uh, once we got going you realize like what a beast it is uh, the gear shift was 
worked really well and it was just like you know very short shift like boom 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 you'd be up the box and uh, yeah, it took it took a minute to get used to for sure. It was not like what I expected to go into. It's kind of got that cool analog feel to it. Like it, it wasn't built for a track. It's a rally car, so the chassis is a bit softer. Where I think gravel that car would be like a different experience. Otherwise, it feels like a rally car. Hopefully, I'll get another chance of driving it. Yeah, it was special sitting next to him. If he picks it up really quickly, and they're not—they're not an easy car to drive. And I've never sat passenger in a in a world car, let alone driven it myself. So I was—I was, I was realizing the power it had uh, from the other side of the seat. WRC, like the, the McCrae's and the Tommy Mackinans and like the blue and yellow Subaru was like, that's what got me excited about rally. And that's, that's like, that's my first like picture of rally. So it's, it's a pretty special moment and it's, it's kind of cool to see things come full, full circle again, especially after 25 years almost now. It's crazy. I feel like it's a, a pretty special moment that I'll probably look back at even another 10 years from now and be like, that was really wild. Uh, just a massive thank you to Subaru Motorsports in Vermont and also Steve Rimmer for letting us loose in his uh, amazing cars. So yeah, it's been a good weekend. Yeah, can't say enough for Subaru and obviously Dirtfish. Same thing, letting us drive the cars, having a blast. Uh, obviously, you know, coming to the event and setting this up for us is really cool. Uh, first time here. I'd definitely love to come back next year. And yeah, and then hopefully Max will be back or we'll see him in America. Be awesome. Maybe Snowdrift? I hope so. <laughs>